Hello again and welcome back to the channel. As always, it is awesome having you here. A quick reminder that I run giveaways that are exclusive to my subscribers. Uh, so hit that subscribe button right now. It costs you nothing. It helps me out immensely. All right, enough shilling of my stuff. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, I am the, uh, I, th I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say proud owner, but I'm the owner of about 10 factory sets from the junk wax era now. I paid about $5 per set, including shipping. Uh, as I'm finding out as I'm opening them, uh, not all of the cards were in the sets as I purchased them. Uh, this one is 1991 Upper Deck Baseball. There were 800 cards in this set. I will not go through 800 cards on camera with you because uh, I'm just not going to. But what I did do is I took out a select groupage of courage or grouping, if you will, of some of the all-stars and famous players and maybe some interesting photographs. And here is my cat making his appearance in my clown show. Um, man, that was seamless. Oh, that was seamless. Anyway, that was my mischievous, mischievous cat. He has demons in his head, in case you're wondering. Yeah, I, my wife and I say probably about six demons. He manages to fit into a head. Um, anyway, so I uh, grabbed a sampling of 1991 Upper Deck cards, and I'll just go through those so you can see, uh, in case you want to get nostalgic, or in case you have never seen 1991 Upper Deck, uh, all the best rookies were taken from this set before it was sent to me. And so uh, do not be expecting... Also, 1991 was the year of the uh, short print Michael Jordan card, and that did not come in the set anyway as part of the factory version. You had to pull it out of a pack. But anyway, so Upper Deck Design 1991, front and back, cool photography, cool design, and then Upper, upper Deck always had that hologram and the back. So we got George Brett, N.W. Stang is a big Royals fan. He'd probably appreciate that. wonder what he thinks about these old-style Royal uniforms. Kurt Schilling playing with the Orioles back then. I remember him more as a Red Shock and a Diamond back. Larry Walker, who is now in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I always am going to remember him as an Expo. I know he went on to be a Colorado uh, Rocky, and then he went also, also on to be a St. Louis Cardinal. Kirby Puckett. You have a Bo Jackson, so another mandatory N.W. Stang reference. Wade Boggs, uh, Tommy's Breaks is a big a uh, Red Sox fan. Ethan's uh, Elvis covers as well, big Red Sox fan. Jim Abbott, I'm always a fan of pitchers bunting in cards. I noticed that card companies love to, to show pictures of pitchers bunting. Um, Jim Abbott, cool. Um, classic cards, Eric at Classic Cards, a big Angels fan. We appreciate that. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Who isn't a Ken Griffey Jr. fan, huh? With the old Mariners then. He went on to the Reg at a later date. I think it's uh, Schultz's card pulls and uh, Kyle's cards. Northwest rips. Run good life. All Mariners fans, I believe. I'm, I might be missing someone. I apologize. Old McGriffster. He uh, was on the Braves. Went to the Blue Jays. Went to the, I think maybe Padres and the Rays as well. Blue Jays fans include Muskoka Card Collector, Jays Mix. I believe that Oilers fan, 1981 Canadian Card Breakers possibly. If I'm if I'm getting it wrong, let me know. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Anyway, there's your shoutouts. Um, Dave Justice. Sometimes I feel like he went by David Justice, and other times I went by Dave Justice. But either way, Justice was served. Uh, for uh, Adam's Card Closet slash Adam's Card Mansion, uh, Big Braves fan. You got your justice being served. David Cohn for the match. And this is me stalling while I'm trying to think. Of, ah, there's a couple of big Mets fans. I just It's just blanket. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, Randy Johnson still, I can't, I can't look at it because, you know, at the Expos traded him. I know it was like 31 years ago and he's retired. But, man, that was brutal. That was a brutal trade. Ricky Henderson. For the Oakland Athletics. So athletic. Three times. Three times. Uh, Will Clark for the San Francisco Giants. Swingway Sports Cards. Big Giants fan. The old Cubby uh, We have Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Cubby Poles. Um, Andre Dawson jumped around too. He used to play for the Montreal Expos. And uh, anyway. Big Cubs fans. Uh, Expos. 
as far as I know, I think I'm the only like uh, person with a channel that opens cards that was a big Expos fan. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, Marquise Grissom, Tom Glavin, back to the old Braves, uh, Brewers cards forever, Steve Rademacher, both big Brewers fans, Paul Molitor. Got uh, Roberto Alomar for the Padres. Jack Morris for uh, the Detroit Tigers. K Family Rips, give me a break, is a big Tigers fan. <laughs> yeah, I went there. I went there. Um, Dave Winfield playing this time for the uh, Anaheim. Oh, Calif that was the California Angels back then in 1991. Then they went to Anaheim. Then they went to LA Angels of, a of Anaheim. Anyway, they've been all over the place. Anyway, uh, Classic Cards, also Angels. Fan 27 or Angels Fan 75. I apologize. Anyway, big Angels fan. Uh, Robin Yount. We have a Nolan Ryan. Not sure if there's a big Texas Rangers fan that I know of. I'm sure someone will remind me. But Nolan Ryan. Got a Cal Ripken Jr. We got uh, Ripken for Ripkins. And uh, there's a big Orioles fan. Dion Sanders. Hedgehog, Collector, Holic, Card Dojo. Big Yankees fans. Uh, Kleinbell Sports Cards is a big Reds fan. He would appreciate this Barry Lockin. Don Mattingly. And Eric Davis. Dwight Gooden. And we're back to the Mets. And I still can't think of the big Mets fan. Uh, oh, dear. It'll come to me. It's going to come to me the minute I stop hitting record. That's just how it works, man. I'm over 40. And it's just all downhill from here, huh? All downhill. Joe Carter. I am always going to remember him as a Blue Jay. But here's a Padre here. Cecil Fielder for the Tigers. I did it again. I went there. Uh, Daryl Strawberry for the Dodgers. He's always going to be a Met in my eyes. Always. Um, not sure. I don't, can't think of any Dodgers fans. Uh, Frank Chamis for the White Sox. That one's easy. Fulton and Foils and Big Mike. Both big Sox fans. Tony Gwynn. Look at that. They got the uh, cool throwback Sox uniform. Robin Ventura. Got uh, John Schmoach for the Braves. Gary Sheffield. Sosa. I'm always going to remember him as a Cub, even though, obviously, at the beginning of his career, he was with the Sox. Moises Alou. Cubs fans will always remember him for bad reasons, like not catching a ball. Here it is. Another pitcher bunting. Greg Maddox. It's just funny. So many cards where uh, pitchers are bunting. Ryan Sandberg. Paul O'Neill. Mark Grace, Tim Raines for the Expos, Sandy Alomar. Oh, there I can mention Hoss of Cards, Derbs Sports Talk and Cards, CV Baseball Card Collector, all big Indians fans. Also Connors Cards. Bunch of Indians fans on the old internet. Go figure. Um, John Olerud for the Blue Jays. Bobby Bonilla, John Sports Cards is a big Pirates fan. Uh... I believe it's growing the hobby. No, maybe maybe growing the hobby is the Mets fan. He lives, I think he lives in Pittsburgh, but he's a Mets fan. Anyway, uh, Barry Bonds. Let's bond together on the internet through cards. Anyway, uh, Jose Canseco, Matt Williams, Craig Biggio, uh, Hatstros McGee, uh, big Astros fan. I think there's another big Astros. Maybe it's okay. I think it's Dad, a uh, Rad and Dad, who's the Astros fan, and then Rad is the the A's fan. Anyway. I should probably do my research before I turn on the camera, but what will be the fun in that? Okay, Ozzy Smith, the wizard, positive breaks, is a big Cardinals fan. Dennis Eckersley, got a Mark McGuire, big Makarowski. Fernando Valenzuela for the Dodgers. Signing an autograph. It's amazing, by the way, when you go back through Junk Wax cards, how many people, how many pictures are of players signing autographs. I'm going to start like a side PC of just picture, like cards of players signing autographs. Gary Carter, who bounced around all over the place. I, I honestly never remember him playing for the Giants. Uh, Rob Hirsch, it is time for your shout-out. Come on down. Uh, you are a big Phillies fan, Rob Hirsch. Tim Raines. By the way, Tim Raines, two cards in this set. He must have gotten traded midseason because he is in a White Sox uniform. It does not mention... Anyway, I could look it up. But anyway, there is a Tim Raines as a White Sox. Uh, Fred McGriff as a Padre there. Never remember him playing for the Padres. Kirk Gibson... Iconic Dodgers home run, if you look it up in history. Uh, Carlton Fisk also played for a bunch of teams. There he is with the White Sharks. Juan Gonzalez with the Texas Rangers. Roger Clemens. Kirk Gibson, 
uh, oh, playing with the Royals this time. And uh, Deion Sanders playing with the Braves. Bo Jackson, I'm always going to associate him with the Royals and not the White Sox. Jeff Bagwell. There's Gary Carter playing with the, the Dodgers. Roberto Alomar playing with the Jays. Albert Bell. And finishing things off with a Joe Carter. So there's your scenic, not so scenic tour through 1991. Upper deck of stars and players that I picked out and cards that were interesting to me. Uh, on the way out, hit that subscribe button. There's going to be some more cool stuff coming up. Pack openings, more giveaways. And uh, take care. And I hope 2021 is uh, being really nice to you. Because 2020 took me out back behind the woodshed and just knocked the snot out of me. So let's hope that 2021 is a lot better. Take care.